Hi everyone, welcome to another video of SyncPix. In today's video, I'll show you how you can protect the external drive with password. This is extremely important that if somebody will have access to your external drive or if your external drive is lost or stolen, so nobody will be able to access the drive until they know the password. Of course, brute force attack can help them, but it will make their life difficult to read your data. One of the features which is already available in most of the external drive providers for example, if I connect my SanDisk, SanDisk is already protected with the password. So I need to double click this so it will open the app. And then I can, of course, enter the password so it will open the drive. So if I connect any other external drive instead of SanDisk, which is not having any software to protect drive, let me insert my new external disk. The drive is readable, of course. So anyone can access this data without entering the password. You can see here USB-C one terabyte. I want to back up the data from here. If somebody will gain access to this, so they will be able to open without entering the password. And this is not a disk which comes with password protection software. If you are using Windows, enable BitLocker for this. This particular drive, which is C drive, this is also protected with BitLocker. You can see here manage BitLocker option is available here. It will disable or enable encryption. So the drive is encrypted. If the laptop is stolen, nobody will be able to access the data because the data is encrypted. I'm using Windows 11 Professional. And if I right click this here, it will show me the quick options here. I can, of course, quickly format this if the drive is not formatted. Otherwise, I'll go here to show more options. And here you can see turn on BitLocker. So you can go from here also. Otherwise, you can go here to BitLocker. Search for the BitLocker. You can see here manage BitLocker. If you see here removable data drives, BitLocker to go. So I'll just click here and turn on BitLocker. So this is one way. Another way is that you right click here, show more options. If the BitLocker option is not available, click here, turn on BitLocker. Now you can see here it will read the information and then use a password to unlock the drive. And here I'll be entering the password. Now if the data is already written there, it will take time to encrypt that data. Otherwise, you will be clicking on next. And now Print the recovery key or save to file. And here you can see I'm just saving it to my Google Drive and save it here. Recovery key has been saved. And next, I'll be encrypting only the data which is used. So I'll be using compatible mode so that I will be able to use this with other computers also and start encryption. You can see here that drive is 99.9% .9 completed. And here you go. And now you can see here the drive is encrypted with BitLocker. And if I remove this drive now, Here you can see the drive is ejected. I'll just insert this again now. See here that the drive is locked right now. I'll just double click here. I'll be entering the password here. By entering the recovery key also, you can open this. Otherwise, you will be using simply password and unlock. Here you go. Now you can, of course, do the backup here. And once you do the backup, of course, you can move it to any other operating system. So here is my Ubuntu desktop. On Ubuntu desktop, I'll be simply connecting my USB disk here. And here you can see it is again asking for the password. So I'll be entering the same password that I used to encrypt the drive. And once I click OK, so it will be unlocked and all my data will be readable on Ubuntu desktop. So I can, of course, copy the data here, restore the data. And of course, I can take the backup from this particular system also here and take it to any other external system. So this way you can, of course, move the data from one operating system to another operating system and when your data is on the move it is secure and protected so this way you can use bitlocker to protect your data this was one of the ways to protect your data or to secure your data subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this see you next video take care and goodbye